welcome to Walking with a Challenge. Thanks for joining us again. We have a great walk for you guys today. The Boondal Wetlands is a little gem in Brisbane. It's located on the north side. Once you get there, you're going to be amazed at how beautiful it is and how family friendly it also is on a weekend with the family. The park is available between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. It also has security surveillance. I hope that these guys are still there when you go for a walk. Uh, they're a little tricycle coffee van. Yeah, they were fantastic. And this, they're trying a new idea at the this place, the Boondall Wetlands, and having these guys on the car park there so you can get a nice cup of coffee before you go on your walk. So this is the beginning of the walk right here on this map. This just shows you a bit of a circuit. It, it goes for two kilometers, and I cannot wait to show you what it's like. So before we even start the walk, we notice a nice water tap there. You can get your water filled up, ready to go. There's nice seats there for a picnic if you want to. Uh, do a bit of a picnic after you come back from your walk. As you can see, the car park is just right outside there, right next to it, and it's nice and close. Okay, so because of where you are in the wetlands, there will be mosquitoes around, so it's a good idea to take something with you to protect you from mozzie bites. And here you can see a picture of the circuit that we're going to do. It's quite a beautiful circuit, uh, as you'll see very shortly. You can see there's a lot of few things you can stop on, on the way and just explore and have a look at and appreciate. And as you can see along the way there, there's also a bird lookout area there. It's a beautiful spot there. And I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly there. And the name of the track is Villa Dagen. And it's right there on the picture. You can see the circuit goes for two kilometers. The one thing to also note and tell you about is that where we are, there's also a, an 8.4 kilometer bike track as well. So if you've got friends that would like to go for a bike ride while you are doing a walk, this is a great, a great place to be to do both things, yeah. So now we're heading up to the beautiful townhouse, which is the office for the Brisbane City Council, Boondall Wetlands. If you go there during opening hours, make sure you pop in and say hello to them. They're quite friendly and quite helpful as well. So here we start the walk now. We're descending this ramp here. One thing to note, of course, is that it's easy going down. So it's going to be a little bit challenging coming back up, but that's okay. I need to exert myself a little bit so I can start getting a little bit fitter. So it does something to consider. Easy to going down, um, a little bit challenging when you go back up. Here we're going to start coming down off this boardwalk here onto the actual walk. So this is the beginning of the walk now. As you can see the actual track itself, it's actually very compacted in. Uh, it's like wet sand, but it's very compacted in and it's actually quite easy to walk on. Very even ground, very flat, as you can appreciate along the walk that we're doing now. But also one thing to consider is that um, it's actually very exposed to the, to the sun. So be aware when you do this walk that you are aware of the time that you're doing it we're doing it at about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's, it's july so it's quite nice and cool so it's something to consider is the time on, and the day that you do it so the are aware that uh, the sun's gonna, gonna be out i am very skin sensitive as you are aware on the other on the other videos that i've mentioned so for me for these kind of walks i'll be doing them in the morning early in the morning and late afternoon so now we pretty much arrived at the boardwalk that's going to take us straight up to the birdwatch area. And as soon as I walked out of the semi-partial shaded area of the track behind us, I felt the heat just on my just on my body because it was, as you can see here, it's fully exposed to the sun. It's fully open, but it's so beautiful to be around though because it's a very nice, beautiful open area. over this way here now we've arrived at the bird lookout and this is a very nice spot to stop while you have a bit of a rest and enjoy the breeze and the nice views as you can see there's a lot of seats here and uh, quite a nice shade so now we're heading back through the boardwalk again and we're going to turn right here to continue on with the circuit and i hope you can appreciate that the walk or the walking track is still very flat 
and it's very nice and even and to be quite honest for someone like me with a walking challenge this flatness all the way through it's just quite welcoming because I want to get out get out and about to do a bit of exercise and this is a fantastic walk to just just to do that as you could see there there's another seat on the way there so along the circuit I think remember it's about three seats along the circuit and obviously once you get to the bird look out there you've got more seatings as well and we've now come across another a boardwalk which just makes it much nice and easy when you're walking because it's not only flat but it's just it's just a nice change from the track that is on dirt and then to get onto a boardwalk uh, it's quite nice again quite a nice change along the circuit so from here on we are pretty much on our last stretch of the circuit for the walk as you can see the actual walk is still pretty much partially shaded but it's still open to the sun a little bit so just be aware that you need to have a bit of a sunscreen on or and just be aware that you are going to be exposed to the sun so we've come pretty much to the end of the walk now i'm going to leave the footage run without any editing so you can actually hear me breathe and you can see that it is a little bit labored when i'm going up this little hill and you can probably have a bit of an idea of how you would be probably so just just have a listen and see that it is a bit labored for me going up this small hill but it can be done it's just that you need to take it easy as you go up this is the little ramp that we came down from when we began our walk and like i've always said to you it's uh, always quite nice to come uh, down but how it's always you need to think about uh, what you're going to be like when you come back up it and uh i can just take my time my race just get to the top no matter when you get it here's a picture of the circuit that we completed the circuit goes for two kilometers come back again i really enjoyed making this video and just remember when you think you can't go for a walk come and check on this channel maybe there's something available for you i know there's sometimes having a walking challenge can sometimes stop you from getting out there and doing some sort of activity so come and check the channel there might be something here for you one day and uh, it might get you to go out there and go for a bit of a walk and a bit of an activity it, it, brisbane is a beautiful area and there's a lot of things you can do even if it's just slow and and take your time but come out there and join our, our walk uh, come and join us in our channel have a look what's here for you and it's just important to remember that there's people out there like you that are walking with a challenge